Play for me too. <laughs> Welcome back to Chaos. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Uh, this so, is technically I, we missed the last session because I had to wrestle. Well, yeah. Well, and people got busy. Good. It happens. It right? happens. Yeah. So and that's fine. Uh, now though, it's been a little three while. Of our viewers out there. Who would like to recap? So we just killed Salazar. Yeah. Um. Didn't even ask if we wanted to do that. Yeah, and it's usually him. Yeah. Anyway, after we killed Salazar, we came back to the city, no, 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 and no, no, no. they hardly believed us, but we got paid our uh, our bounty, and we've been in Sartek City for a little bit. Um, shopping. Shopping and getting upgrades and training. things, and some training and some reading and lots of studying by my guy. Um, but yeah, so Salazar, we, we were in a tower for a good while. Ten floors. Lots of ass kicking, lots of puzzle stuff, lots of getting hurt and fire, and now we're in Sartek City. Uh, I've been at the Mages College studying and bringing books back to the uh, Mages College to see what they have and archive and record and whatever. And Rand has been regaling <laughs> the bars with tales of his amazing feats of conquering the evil Sorcerer Salazar. And none of them believed him. They kind of looked down on him and physically because he's tiny. Getting covered in spiders. People on Snapchat are going to blame you too, though. I don't mention yeah. the spiders. Sure will. Uh, before you know. Same thing I will do. Neat. <laughs> try to take over the world. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I am the demon. Only at night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. One other thing I was just learning, that Leah failed to mention, oh, yeah. which is fine, is that they had a meeting with Kagan about, which is, again, the Guildmaster, uh, about the some interesting sort of worldwide disturbances. Oh, yes. Uh, three in question. There's one that's relatively close by in Genrock. There's one on uh, a different continent. Well, there's two different ones on different continents. One is Imako, where there's bizarre plant overgrowth in this desert city. <clears throat> and then uh, there is one in Skylim, which is the Death Elf city. And they think it has something to do with the Purge, which hopefully it doesn't, of course. Terrible movie. You you won't know until <laughs> you won't know until you get over there to really kind of see what's going on. Yep. Um, of course, we're starting now in Sartak City. Probably, well, most of you I would say have finished up your shopping training. Yeah, it's probably been a week. We got some great looking shoes, guys. It's been <laughs> it's been a little bit. It's it's been um, a couple of weeks. Since you okay. killed Salazar, you spent a lot of your money, or not, <laughs> yep. if, if, if you chose not to, for whatever reason. I, think I, bought I did. <laughs> and I didn't, one, really. I don't think I bought anything at all. This is the first time I've had a bunch of money. <laughs> I have everything I need. And, um, it's just money. Life is good, right? You're hanging oh, out in the guild hall, and... Um, <coughs> Virgil, the the tiefling guy who you met at the very beginning of the game when you first got this place, uh, who works for the Adventurers Guild, approaches you. Um, we have a new individual who they want to join Chaos for a couple reasons. Um, one is Herc. Herc had to, had to leave, right? And because of that, you're kind of short. Um, you're a tank. Your your team has has lost a little bit of its of its combat balance. So we have a person in mind. The thing is, we kind of also need you to work on straightening him out because he has a little bit of a drug problem. Alcohol, bro. <laughs> What's the problem? Does he have too much? <laughs> well, shut up, man. <laughs> you'll see. He's actually, right now, we told him to be here to meet with you guys here today, like with me right now. 
Uh, obviously, he's not here. So, uh, we believe he's he's in the one of the spice dens, which we've been meaning to kind of clear out anyway. So, uh, how would you like to go do that for us? Um, what's he look like? You can describe yourself. Or yes. Oh, I can. Yeah, yeah just everything. tell us that you, whatever you look like. All right. Well, he's black, and he's got some. Uh, he's got. He's got. Uh, he's, got uh, he's built. Uh, I don't know. He. Uh, big bulky guy. guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's got. got <laughs> trying to think. What's he? He's got a mohawk. Okay. He's got a mohawk and uh, full Are beard. You Mr. T. Uh, yeah, pretty much, pretty much Mr. T. Uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah. He, yeah. Uh, he's got a pity for uh, Any scars? Oh, yeah. Emotional. All right, we'll say I have. Emotional ones. Well, clearly, it's, it's to drug. I have a, uh, I'll just do it off my real, but I have a, uh, I have a scar where I got stabbed. I'll even say it's from, like, where I got, like, bit by a dragon or some crazy I don't know. You just so I have a scar. Make that shit yeah. up. Okay. I have a scar okay, gotcha. on my chest, or, or like... on the side of the, my ribs. I have a scar um, right underneath my eye, and I have a scar on my shoulder. Okay. Uh, oh yes, by the way, Chaos Viewers, uh, oh, we have a new you. player, <laughs> whose name is Salazar. Interestingly enough, Salazar. Salazar. The Slayer. Yeah, so uh, we know you just killed this guy named Salazar, but the guy that's going to be joining your team is also named Salazar. <laughs> that's not going to be confusing to you when you ask us that story at all. You know that, right? Yeah. We killed him. Well, what big thing have you done? We killed Salazar. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Resurrection magic, we have it. <laughs> can be yours with a lower price of 1,000 gold. Yeah, so uh, it's probably not... Lola. Gonna take you guys much time. Oh. <laughs> I just he saw... got distracted by my land here. Sorry. Uh, I saw that was Dragon Quest. Yeah. Like, that's awesome. Love it. Because it's drawn by Akira Toriyama. Exactly. And, and his crew. Anyway, <laughs> getting a little off topic there. Um, Welcome to Chaos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. The. That's fate. That too. If possible. <laughs> We would like to only kill the you know the actual dealers in there. Uh, most of the users for uh, will obviously not be in a position to really offer much resistance. Uh, so don't kill them. Just kill the, the dealers, and then of course pick up Salazar. Hopefully he's oh you know. Cut. Cognizant enough <laughs> to, to, to go with you. He won't be sober. sober. <laughs> no, he's not going to be sober. If he, if he happens to not be sober, like, is there a way you guys can save him? Just like, like beat him up, I guess? And then... And drag his ass out? Yeah, oh, we're just going to drag you out either one. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't All have right. a choice in that. Because I it would be, be kind of interesting like that, would it not? It would, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But okay. we'll see when have we get kick there. kick his ass, Okay. Yeah. Non-lethal damage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Rain just perks up. I know drug addicts. I guarantee I can act like one. <laughs> now, getting this guy out of there, I don't know about. Act but... like a gambler. Oh, I can definitely <laughs> act like one. <laughs> That's fine. But so you know, we walk. I walk in and I start looking around, trying to find some drugs. And you guys walk in behind me and then try to find him. Then I was thinking we just kick the door down, take care of the problem. Where's right the skooma? Now. <laughs> that works so, too. Also, by the way, uh, we'll just say I came in like right last. Virgil was waiting for me to get there. Um, and my character has on one gold earring, and then I hold out my hand and have a gold earring for each of you. It's like, you should put these on. I don't each, accessorize. They're, they're helpful. <laughs> I don't accessorize. So I'll hand one to all Rand just grabs one and been like, how much is this worth? Uh, more than you'll pay for. But you should pierce your ear with it. Oh, let me do it. Rand spe I hope I get the ear right. Rand specifically goes to his left ear yeah. and pierces it and just puts it through. He picked the All wrong right. ear. Did I pick the wrong ear? Oh, no. I, uh, <laughs> I, weird. 
I, I grab and hold it and talk, and you can hear me Spoiler. talking in your head. Either you was wrong. Yeah, so. And then I'm holding out to you. These too. are earrings uh, of, commu of, of communication. Are you uh, and for the record, you can put down your equipment if you're taking one. It, uh, if you touch it and talk, the other earrings can hear you talk in 2,000 feet. Like Bluetooth. Only 2,000 feet instead of 30 feet. <laughs> really good Bluetooth. <laughs> yes. So we all have these earrings of communication. It's made from from, from the teeth of the blue dragon. No, I played that game. I'm just kidding. Actually, I haven't played that game. It's awesome. But that's my gift to you from our sweet loot's mission, whatever. Cool. Assuming you'll take it. Okay. Does this do look you, do girly on? on me? Grant says. Who, who all is, is taking one? So Grant has one. I have, I have, I have, one. One. I have five one. of them. I'm going to put it in the marriage set. I'll take one. How many other three? I have five. Five? Oh, well, well shit. Let's... Okay. Yeah. No. I could afford five. I wouldn't have bought five. Do I have one? Oh, I don't have one. No. You don't know <laughs> You're fucking yeah. drunk and high and yeah. wasted. Yeah. You're so high right now, if you had one, you wouldn't know where we the voices have... were coming from. <laughs> We'd be hearing burbling. <laughs> Lord? <laughs> is that you? <laughs> By the way, this is, again, a virtual talking. Uh, we have received word from her. Neat. And uh, he would, he, he's requesting it's been okay by the guild. He's requesting the presence of Baharash because uh, the ship's bard, like the ship that he's on, the bard uh, was recently killed in a in a raid. Like they, they're 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 privateers, right? Right. Uh, and they they could use another healer. Sounds like an interesting story. Let's go. Okay. Bye. So Baharash is gonna leave with Virgil. Uh, you're dead. And, well, <laughs> <laughs> and Harash is gone. Okay. For now, he may come back. <coughs> Indeed. Depends on how Karen survives. Mm -hmm. huh? Depends on what Karen survives. Well, Karen always survives. Uh, this Yet. this Wait. den, by the way, is in it's in the slums area of Tartex City. Yeah. That's where a lot of them are. There are some yeah. some, some some drug dens in the higher areas. The more noble areas, but that's. But they're not really easily found. Yeah. They're they're, expensive. they're more secretive. And a good decent drug folk. <laughs> this <laughs> <laughs> this building is like the other ones around. It's very run down. So there's a lot of ways in. Right. It's it it's in various oh, states yeah. of disrepair. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, <it's cool. laughs> and uh, this is a two-story building. There were, you know, glass windows. They're not really anymore. They've been busted out, and, uh, or just removed. It's just like ripped out. The front door, just from visual inspection, is kind of leaning a little bit uh, <laughs> and doesn't really close right. I think so, I've lived there before. Okay. So, we've all lived there before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it would be. It's it's unlikely that it's even locked. We just kicked the door. So the place just looks like people in total shit holding. Is it just any is it single story? <laughs> All right, so we kick down it's the door and go looking for two trouble. story. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Two story. Two okay. Story. Well, right, guys, when we go inside, don't fart too hard. Knock the place open. So we're <laughs> we're just gonna kick in the door and do this. So we're supposed to go like kill all the dealers there. You want us to clean the house? Yes. Okay. I'm not That's... cleaning this place. Good God. No, we're gonna go clean house. Not enough for breeze in the world. Okay. Well, you know, it's a derelict building. He would be able to clean it, and you have to tear it down. Dude. Build a new one essentially. Well, since we're just gonna just clean house then. I watch a wizard with Mindy. And we're now we found it. And we're all outside, right? Yes. Okay. Just staring at like a bunch of idiots. And we know who we're looking for, so we don't there, kill that one black guy. There is. <laughs> there is some off-tune uh, music coming from. Some weird music that we think sounds fucking terrible. <laughs> That's what oh, so saying. they're playing metal. 
<laughs> I hate metal. So. No. no, it's not metal, but it's it's, it's definitely like Whatever. out of tune and it's wonky. It sounds like whoever's playing it is super high. So we got Macklemore coming. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Anyway, uh, we, we just want to walk inside. We want to check see if there's any other exits. Uh, well, I want to search the premises like outside first. Really I right want to home. station Bark out front and just tell him, you know, signal to him to just kill anyone he doesn't know that comes out. So, so don't do nah, that. Well, time. not kill, but hold, hold. No. Well, here's the thing, though. We'll die. You're going to cause a little bit of panic. Yeah. And no. a lot of the the, the dry, the like, addicts are going to run out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, yeah, you're right. Um, I shouldn't do that. So I think we need to find some way to... Right. All right. There's the front door. There is a door in the back. We can send the demon in first to really fuck with him. <laughs> well, we have two demons here. <laughs> yeah, they're both <clears throat> deep But I'm more intimidating. Yeah, well, and I'm really good at lying, but... Well, Rand we're not talking tries to like find him. something on the second floor. He just walks up the walls. So well, I, got this I guess I am boots. pretty intimidating. Is too, there any other entrance? I've really there's, there's, I walk there's up walls as spider boots. Oh, <laughs> there's a back door, yes. There's a back so, door. Right. Uh, uh, and any of the windows can be entered. Like they're big enough that anybody can really go okay. into them. So I suggest and that or out. Either you two or just you kinda go in, just kinda look through it and we come back out and discuss which side we need to enter on and we all enter on the same side. It's not a big place, right? It's small, right? Uh well it's reasonably small, yeah. What's the mm -hmm. like? So it's like. Why don't we just send in the I in front of the one back? I don't to the okay. think okay. I'll draw that. Okay. <laughs> Why don't we just send you and Bark in one? This is one of those fights we're just going to do. Well, I discussion. Can, discussion here. You want me to go up on the second floor? I can at least check that. I mean, if you can look in, I'm without getting caught. Yeah. I can do that. How are you rolling? I haven't rolled yet. Exactly. Right. You gonna roll for but, stealth? I'm. Roll for stealth, go up to the second floor, find a window that I can get in. That's what my goal, Rand's goal is. <coughs> well, that's fair. I was gonna what does everybody else do? Two teams, one I, back door, one front I'm going to casually walk in one of the doors. I'm not giving him bark any specific up. orders, but I want <clears throat> he's staying within hearing range of me. So I can, like I said, I have whistles <coughs> so that can yeah, yeah. give him commands. Yeah, yeah. So give me a stealth check first. First roll of the night. And he fucked luck, it up. Luck die. Using the luck. All right. Dude, on a, this? You haven't went up the wall yet. I have to take, <laughs> a, long I have to take a long rest. All right. I got three. Well, eight. Nine, right? Yeah, plus nine. So 17. Yeah. 17. That's oh. not bad. Dude, that's... <laughs> These guys are all fucking... Oh, yeah, I forgot. They're all I really high. Really done it, wasn't it? Seventeen is per is planted. Okay, <laughs> it's so a lot. The eleven you, he got before. You walk up it. the wall. Yeah, and you kind of peer peer through one of the windows, and uh, <coughs> of course I'm in. I've been playing a shit out of Fallout Four, so sorry. Um, it does look like some of the interiors that you see in Fallout Four. Like there's trash everywhere. There is an uh, like a, a moth eaten. There's 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 really bad mi mix matched mismatched sorry. furniture. Uh, furniture, much of it is uh, tacky and broken rotten. and like rotten and busted. And, and people one are thing that you notice room. when you get up to where you can look through the window, yeah, is the smell. Is horrendous. <clears throat> um, as a matter of fact, I need you to make a constitution. That's statement. exactly what I picked. <clears throat> I mean, constitution. Well, it's not my worst, say you. So. Not my best. Not my best, but. Oh, well, 17 plus 4. So, yeah. yeah okay, so. <laughs> no, wait. Why is that plus 4? <clears throat> Why do I have plus 4 in my constitution? Do I have something that gives me that? Are you no, not as a rogue. You're not proficient. Yeah, so that should be just a 17. Either way. Probably something you're wearing. But your notes are really bad, so. Anyway. Yeah, I have no clue why I have four written down there. You did it. Yay. 
What is your uh, constitution? It's zero. It's ten. So I have a zero oh, plus. Fair 17. enough. And I'm not proficient in it. Seventeen's so. fine. Like, yeah, but I rolled seventeen. So with the seventeen. So. Uh, it's really, really bad. But you, and like you kind of feel a little bit of brief nausea. But I grew up in the slums. I'm used to it. it. But you're good. Yeah. Uh, there are three or four people that are in in this area. Um, one of them is laying out on the couch. One of them is sitting in a chair. And then the other one is kind of standing standing, uh, and has a uh, pretty sizable coin purse and is facing away from you. God. Okay, well, the first thing I do is I'm looking in this window and, like, this, this person has other other bags as well. So like one of them is obviously a coin purse. Right. This is one of the dealers. Do the uh, the people who are laying in the chair and laying down, they just look like they're completely out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, first thing I do is grab my ear and I just tell Delay everybody. All the information. Yeah, I tell everybody what I just saw that has an earring. And, yeah, that I know. But and I just say like I see everybody. Um, How many drug dealers do you see? I <laughs> I got one guy in here who just looks kind of suspicious. I'm yeah, gonna go check this, this out. Room, yeah. And then I just and then I take. No, I don't take off the earring, but I take my hand off of it, and then I slowly creep in. Okay. And try to sneak up behind that one particular person. Right. Are okay. As soon as give, me, get my bow give out. me another stealth roll. <clears throat> okay. Gonna get my bow out. So I have like points. And whoa, sixteen plus nine. Twenty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, of course, as you know, you have two options here. Really, go for the coin purse first, or just take him out. No, what I will. Drug dealers. What so I'm going to do. Is finger just the throat. <laughs> hey, you're the I can't. Can I caress well, is he a human? The finger. Th this one's a human. I can't reach his throat. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can jump like on his shoulder. You can reach his groin. <laughs> you well, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> I, back. I was gonna just uh, take out my mm. one of my actually my rapier and just like kind of just jab it into his what is that called the, the artery in your leg yeah know, whatever that main Cro leg the, the, the femoral yeah the femoral, femoral, femoral artery. artery and just like jab it in and slide it across <laughs> when i'm right behind it that's fucking brutal okay yeah. uh it's not going to kill him he's just going to bleed out so in that's 3 seconds an attack roll i get advantage since i'm see you? stealth right we saw him climb in the window right yeah and so he said he, he sees nine, one guy. you have advantage and at 12 plus 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's three and three. Yeah, 18. Yeah. Okay, so I hit him. Yes, you do. And that's Roll a sneak, your attack, sneak attack damage. Two. So that's my rapier. So that's a d8. And 3d6. Rangers. I can lie, jump. <laughs> that's. No, oh, shit. 18. 18, 18 plus yes. some stuff. 18 plus. What? 18 plus 19, 20, 21. Wait, do I add proficiency to that? Yeah, you add your dex mm -hmm. modifier to your rapier. So, just that's 21. Oh, okay. 21, yeah. So, you, uh, of course, you suck up really close to behind this guy, and you, you know, yeah, gank him in the leg, ripping out. His like, femoral, yeah, uh, sizable chunk of flesh, and like, um, you're just because you're at that right height, you're right. just sprayed with blood. Yeah, it's just the blood just sprayed all over me. The why is your mouth open? The dealer <laughs> says because he has brief time at least to kind of call out, What the fuck? I'm assuming the rest of us hear that because <laughs> that's about as much time as you have, right? Yeah, yeah so. at that you get that cut, you're dying quick. Um, the rest and of the I was like, guys, I think it's time to go inside. Yes. Guns out, guns out, boys. Alright. 
I'm gonna run inside. I'll, I'll walk in. I, fir I also first want to say that before I do anything oh, else, as soon as he drops, I grab his coin purse. <laughs> hey, but the coin purse never hits the ground. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. I mean, he doesn't even hit the ground before I've done his coin purse. Me and old actual money, not like his coin purse. Right? Yeah, so that's what I. <laughs> <laughs> There's. Uh, he just living on in Hurt's honor. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are other pouches that he has, which you can look into. Later, but I, I want to make sure. Yeah, I'm just immediately right, grabbed down right, easy. One. Step inside the door, bow out. Gotcha, what gotcha, gotcha. See? Okay, this is like a like the a living room kind of area. You see four people. Um, there's two of them are drug addicts and are pretty strung out. One of one of them is again one of the ones that has a a pretty decent sized coin purse. Neat. And the other one is what appears to be a bodyguard. Okay. Um, did they hear the guy upstairs just get knifed? Not really. No, oh. because the, the it, it wasn't loud. It was like oh, the, the music no here is pretty loud. Uh, they're like one one of the two people in here that has kind of strung out is playing a lute. Just kind of yeah, yeah. It's, just, just like, like give us on the instrument. He's just, yeah, he's, go at it. He's just, he's just Dude, playing it out. I can play Wonder Wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, check it out. I can play Wonder Wall. All right. Uh, what's the big guy look like? The big guy is a half orc, and oh, uh, does seem to be a little bit high. Because, you know, he gets, he gets He's not as sober. a bodyguard, he gets to sample the product, you know? That's a bad decision. But, uh, he's, he's, you know... You like your beer squeaky. <laughs> he has a... Uh, he has an axe. It's not a great axe, it's just a regular axe. It's just not a axe. And axe. It's an, it's an okay axe. It's an okay axe. It's not a great axe. It's an okay axe. Is there a way I could come out and be pissed off at that dude? No, you maybe you're you're making noise or yeah. it's not your turn to shit. Cause they, you know, you don't, don't really know. know you're like, we're all sneaking. Yeah. So like, they are walking in with weapons out. So well, let's say I actually went around to the back. Okay. But I never actually declared what we were doing. That's on the fair. Outside. Yeah. That's fair. I never okay. actually so, did. He just climbed into a window and that. Yeah, was I'm it. just kind of like. Oh, no, 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 so so that time. Yeah. yeah. Totally fine. So let's say I went to the back and I came in when I heard that when they said you know let's go I went into the back door. Okay. You know what he means. <laughs> <laughs> hey, demons like it from behind. <laughs> and uh, well, we're gonna end well, this one here. And actually, strike that rogues like it from behind. <laughs> pick it up. Oh, nice. that's a good joke. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Which, which one you should? Because I'm gonna ask you to which one.